are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Boards going on that are gonna go up here right above the kids chairs right in that spot right there hopefully Brian will get a chance to hang those for us it's a bubbler why <laughs> would I spent the week working on my morning routine I haven't quite perfected it yet um the goal here is to work okay. on a morning routine for me I already pretty much have the kids morning routine mapped out and they handle that themselves and we check in with it at the end of the week but for me I told you guys I wanted to try to have like little things that I could look forward to in my morning routine for the day and I, I will say that it's pretty extra friends but I told you guys if we're gonna do this more frequently that you're gonna have to deal with my extraness okay so um, yep. what I did was break down my morning routine into bags yes you heard that correctly <laughs> so I wanted to try a bag method for myself like a proper bag lady because one of the hardest parts about being homeschool mom for me has been like there is no separation you know what I mean everything is everything all the time there's no separation anywhere so it's kind of challenging anyway um, but I wanted to have bags that kind of house the things that I need for each different part of my morning routine. And I know, I know it's extra, but I just feel like, you know, a crazy lady sometimes um, trying to keep my house in order intact and things kind of um, in their own separate spaces. And that is a big distraction to me if I don't have certain things in my workout area and I can't find this and I can't find that. So I just figured containing things into bags that I needed for my morning routine would be really, really helpful for me. So first things first, I've got all my bags over here to the left of me. It's my little keychain that I made for myself to help walk me through my morning. Because like I said, I want to be extremely intentional about my morning and I want it to be something that sparks joy, <laughs> okay? So me and my bestie, my bestie and I are on this journey to find things that spark joy in our lives, like us personally, for us and us alone. So I made this little key ring of the things that I wanted my morning routine to include. If I am going to be waking up at four in the morning, then I need to make sure it's for good reason and <laughs> not just to be productive. My goal, like I said in other videos, is to be fruitful and that has so much more to do with um, adding some intention and uh, joy to my experience for me. So I made this little keychain. I know, I know. It was just a doodle that I did one day sitting down while the kids were occupied and doing their work just to kind of like think about what I wanted my morning to kind of look like and what I wanted it to include. So I just went ahead and took that doodle and then I broke it up into pieces, laminated it to make myself a little step-by-step -step morning routine. I feel like this always works out really well for the kids. So I said to myself, self, why not do it for you? <laughs> okay. So um, the first thing that I have on my list is to work out. And I know, I know, but your friend needs her endorphins moving and going. And I need to release those good chemicals that really help my brain just kind of just get jump started, kick started in the morning. So the first thing that I have is a workout bag. I'm not going to really show you what is inside of each of the bags. I'll probably do that in another video once I get more of a handle on what 
I want to be in each one. But like I said, my main goal is to have things in their place so that I have them packed the night before and I know that everything I need for the following day is ready to go and not lying around in different places where I can't find them. I can get confused and frustrated and then my time is up and then blah, 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 blah. So I have my workout bag. I hope that's the first thing I have. Then, this part next on my list is my, is my study time. This is my words matter bag and it just has my binder and the books that are specific to my study time. I've kind of created my own little curriculum for the course of study that I'm interested in doing. That is my study bag. We're doing a lot of education, culture, society type of studies and that is why I have my study bag. Next on my list is writing and filmmaking. Of course, you guys know that I'm working on a documentary. So I have my camera bag and this is, this has everything I need for writing, for writing and uh, getting better at my filmmaking. And then of course, in the back of my bag, I do have my iPad. Um, that I use for those writing studies. The next in my morning routine is my work time. This is when I get all of my work done. All I need for that is a laptop and my office space and a heater because y'all know that my office is in my garage space. So, um, so I've carved out a very specific amount of focus time. We'll talk about that in many videos to come and sprinkled into vlogs along the way. After my work time during my morning routine, I have walk time with the, this is really when the homeschool day gets kind of jump started and i wanted to have a bag specifically for our walks that i could just just kind of wanted one of those slinky gym bags things that i could toss like watercolor in or my mini instax polaroid printer things like that to just kind of grab and go for specifically our longer morning walks or even the ones where we pack up in the car and head to a trail or a park or whatever to get in a nice morning walk so i got this one pop in any bag and open up when i'm ready to use it so of course i love the color <laughs> nothing too big but just enough for me to just pop in whatever I need for our morning walk. Then myself a little lunch bag that I could just pack in the things that I want to make sure, like without a shadow of a doubt, that I am getting in each day. So I'll let you know how that goes. Super cute. Then I have one last bag, friends. Then I have one last bag, my book bag. I showed you guys this in um, a couple of videos before, the little library bag that I grabbed and I really enjoy. The kids have their own separate stacks of books that they work through during the day, and these are the books that I kind of pull from. So picture books that we're using for story time and any other books that I am just trying to work through reading. So basically, it's essentially a TBR bag, like what's next up on my list of books to finish reading. Again, by Adam Grant, I'm finishing this one up, and I just started this one, the love song for W.E.B. Du Bois, The Words for Home. <laughs> And I am finishing up uh, Ta-Nehisi Coates' The Water Dancer, which let's not say anything to my oldest because he laughs at me about this all the time. <laughs> but I'm almost done. And the thing is, I keep rereading and rereading the end because I'm just not focused on it. <sighs> I feel so bad I'm going to finish it this month. Anyway, so I keep all of my books in my book bag because as they're studying, I am right here to help them through and to lead and guide and answer questions and provide resources and all those things but in the meantime i have a lot of like downtime in between so if i'm not here filming talking to you guys most of the time what i am doing is sticking my nose in one of these books so that's it those are my bags that lead me through my morning routine um i will let you know how it continues to go but i'm very very hopeful Okay, very hopeful about it because I feel like this is one of the main reasons why I get distracted in my morning routine is that I can't find things. They're in different areas and then when I go to try to find something, I get distracted and end up doing something else. So if I just know that in a certain part of my morning routine, I grab my bag, I stay focused, put those things back in my bag, move on to the next bag. I feel like this is really helping me stick to having a very um, 
intentional morning routine. So the last thing I said I was going to show you guys is where the kids' morning routine, um, what the kids' morning routine looks like. And I will show you that. So the beauty of using devices, as always, is the fact that they sync. So even if they are on their devices, I can always pull them up and check check them out on um, our app. If you so we use Notability for their digital notebooks and then for their morning routine, we just use the Reminders app that's on um, every Apple device. So this is Savannah's morning routine and she just walks through it, checks off the things that she finishes. I check them out to see where they are and assign tokens for the things that they have accomplished. Sorry if that was a tad chaotic. It's kind of hard to show you what's on the device sometimes. All right, friends, that is it for today's video. I am going to go ahead and pack my bags and get on with the rest of my day with the kids. But I thought I would just pop in and document what it's looking like lately as far as our morning routine is concerned. Let me know. How do you guys handle your morning routine? Where have you been lately with it? There have been so many ups and downs in the morning routine. There have been so many years where... Your friend just needed sleep, so I prioritize rest over everything else. And now I'm just in a different season where I really it need is. that quiet, focused time. So 4 a.m. it is, okay? <laughs> so let me know what season you're in. What is your morning routine looking like? Um, how is it different from the kids? How does it include the kids? Uh, what are you doing to protect the morning routine? All of those things. I feel like morning nighttime routines are so important for every season and it's really important for you to define what that is or what it needs to be for you at any given um time period because please believe a lot of people will try to shame you for needing extra sleep in the morning or waking up low and slow and look we're all about that over that's here. me all right so remember life is so very full of lessons and our goal as always <laughs> is to live and to don't forget to subscribe!